the sheer size of these things. I mean, if you can imagine, uh, I've referred to this inland contractor, it's bigger than a house. At some point, we had some of the largest models ever developed in SolidWorks. So when the swim tunnel came along, all of a sudden we're getting to very big, large, complex models. At some point, we had some of the largest models ever developed in SolidWorks. Therefore, we really relied on the MLC and the SolidWorks. All the wind tunnels really fascinate me. I mean, even from the beginning. And in particular here, I got wind of iFly and them needing help. So I thought if I can start doing some design work, I can go find these wind tunnels. And sure enough, that worked out perfectly. And I designed wind tunnels for almost 20 years straight. We work on the airflow uh, down inside a huge plenum. You know, there's an inlet contractor and it goes through a, uh, the inlet contractor up into a flight chamber, into a primary diffuser. And everybody kind of specialized in their own little thing. My things were like the primary diffuser turning vanes where they turn the air from a column of air and run it down the sides and back up through the center column. Well, there may be 200, 300 parts in this thing because it's all made up of structural members with a skin around it. So these are all the machine components inside the structure. So we provide design of each of these mechanical components, fabrication drawings. We inspect the first article. Um, this one was special because this was gonna be the largest tunnel in the world. And with a tunnel of that size, special considerations came into play. You know, the size of the components, this one was 32 feet in diameter at the flight chamber. The building itself is, I believe, 10 stories tall, as compared to some of the more standard tunnels that are between three and six stories tall. This was a dramatic increase. Anyway, they come to me and say, we need to change the height of this 56 foot tall tunnel a quarter of an inch. And you're like, oh my gosh, wow, this could be catastrophic. But fortunately, SolidWorks had advanced to the extent where I could make simple little changes that like that and all the parts would update, all the skins, all the framing, everything. When you're working on a project that's kind of pushing the envelope of what's possible, a lot of times you really do run into some interesting challenges in terms of design and manufacturability. We're really here to help from a consultative perspective to help really give advice and input on best practices and things that have worked in the past for us and we've seen work for other people. We try to go beyond managing just the program and really help to solve the larger engineering problems. There were times where we'd have aggressive deadlines and it'd be nine o'clock at night and things aren't going my way and I could, you know, I could call Nadia and she'd, she'd take the call, man. Uh, facing down a deadline the next day, the last thing you want is to be somewhere where you can't go any further. I think the challenge is, is like you have a lot of really inventive, creative people out there that have a lot of really good ideas. Translating that to a business takes a village. Could take an army, right? And so DEET engineering, they're almost like, they're like the special task force. They're not just doing the engineering, they're taking all their expertise in manufacturing, suppliers, you know, what are the best parts to buy off the shelf versus what will work for that versus what's the most economical ones, right? They can account for all of that and that's what you're getting in with your engineering. So that is where Deaton can really shine and support an engineering group or a product design. And so it's really nice that we create these personal relationships where they can give us a call, follow up on an existing case we've been working and just kind of continue on where we were. Everybody at MLC CAD has a, a, a lot of tenure. I've been here for 16 years. We really get a chance to get to know people, know the projects they're working on, the industry they're working on, and we can jump in very quickly to help out with whatever they need that given day. One of the nice things about working for a consulting firm like Deaton Engineering is that you get something different almost every month or two. Whenever a new client comes in, we have a lot of experience to draw on and we're able to use concepts that transfer from previous projects and apply them to the new project. And a lot of times that'll give a new perspective that our client has never thought of. So I think that's part of the value that we add to, to the clients that come in through our doors. 